Hello and welcome back to this video where we are now going to be doing or creating what's known as layered materials. So a layered material is um, a material where you can have uh, two different materials on top of each other. Okay, or, or you could have three or four, etc, etc. So let's uh, go back to our materials and this time I'm going to right click and we're going to go to materials and textures and from here we want to choose a material function so we're going to call this uh snow underscore uh, f for function okay and this is uh, going to be uh pretty simple what we want to do is we want to right click we're going to type make and we want to choose this make material attributes and just uh, pull this over and plug this in here And then once we have that, we can build our material. So for the snow, we're just going to choose a constant one. Uh, this is going to be just be very basic. So I'm just going to put one in here and put this into base color. And so we just have a, a very basic, um, just very basic white snow. Let's see. Can we, is there any textures we can use here? Um, I just want to see if this just just uh just some sort of texture we can use for the normal map um okay so i'm just going to use this one just to uh fill it out a little bit so this is not really a snow normal but it'll uh it'll do so i'll just plug this in here so yeah, that's going to be fine. So we press save and uh, close this and we're going to do the same again. So we're going to go back to materials I'm going to type in or go to materials and functions. Uh, let's see, we're going to go to new material function. Chrome underscore F for function. And we're just going to build a very basic, very shiny material here. So, uh, again, we need to go back to this uh, make and we want to choose uh, make material attribute and plug this in. And then from here, we're just going to say put zero and then zero. And let's change this to one. So we have a very shiny metal. And I'm going to choose uh, in the roughness, I'm going to put zero in here. And I'm just going to decrease this down maybe to about 0.8 ish. Actually, no, 0.2. 0.3. I just don't want it to be so reflective. And press save. And uh, now we are ready to set up the material. So let's right click, choose new material. I'm going to choose Chrome. Snow mat, and let's open this. And once we're inside here, we want to drag in the uh, snow. Let's pull this in, and we want to pull in that chrome. Let's see where has it gone? Chrome F. There we go. Now in the properties. We want to go down to, let's see, use material attributes. And once we've done that, we're going to choose um, type in blend. And um, See where's it going? Blend. Oops. We'll scroll down to we see our layer blend simple. And I'm gonna plug this into uh, the blend and we're gonna plug the base. 
uh, into the chrome as we want the chrome to be I guess the base here and on top of that we want to add the snow and you can see we get the material but we need to add a alpha so let's go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and add a world Align, let's see, world align. There we go, world align blend. And let's see, on the blend chart, let's add 10. And let's create a new one and choose, let's see. This time we're just going to go minus one, so we're going to go minus one. I'm going to put this into the bias. I'm going to put this into the sharpness. Okay, and um, yeah, this should be about, oh, so we need to plug the alpha into the alpha. There we go, so now we can see we actually have this uh, material laid on top here with the snow on the top and the chrome at the bottom. So if we press save. Okay, close this off. And uh, we could, uh, let's see. Let's find our material. We could put this in here. And so now you can see we have this snow layer on the top and chrome at the bottom. It's maybe a little better if we did it to uh, this so let's put this in there we go so I mean even if we went back to the chrome let's go back to the chrome here and we can start dealing with some of these values so uh, let's see So it's a zero, so make it super reflective. Press save. Just make it a little bit more distinctive. There we go. So now we can see we have the chrome and we have this layer uh, right on top there. So this is just one way of uh, creating this sort of effect. Um, there are many other ways that we can do this with uh, things like U vectors. Okay, but for now, uh, I think that's uh, going to be about covering, there we go, so you can see what's going on here, um, cover uh, this material. Okay, thank you for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you in the uh, next video.